This is a video demonstrating how to add or remove user accounts from your DVR. The first step in this process is to right click anywhere on the main screen and scroll down to main menu. The password for the username 68 is also 68, so that's 888888. Select enter and OK. Select the advanced menu icon in the bottom left hand corner and select account. The first thing that we see in the account menu is the number of users that we have, their user identification, the group that they fall into, and the status of the users. To add a user to this list, on the bottom left hand corner of the screen you can see there's a button that says add user. Left click that in the add user menu we can select a username for the account let's say that the username for my account is going to be Bob and the password is also going to be Bob but to make it a little more secure let's add a one select enter and enter in your password again in the confirm box next to password select enter. We can see here as well there is a checkbox for reusable. This means that we can create one login user and password and have several people in completely different locations logging onto the DVR online simultaneously. Under the password box there is a box that says memo. This is for personal use and you can put in just about any information that you want to attach and keep associated with the account. Below the memo box there is a group flydown box. This allows you to group this account into either an administrative account or just a user account. The difference is administrative accounts have the ability to do just about anything on the DVR. You can see here this is a list of all the privileges for each account. If I switch this over to user, the list is much shorter than an administrative account. So you can choose. We can also select very specific privileges to be enabled or disabled by checking this box next to any of these privileges. By unchecking this box, I disable that privilege. I'm going to save this account. And you can see here on the bottom left hand corner there is an add group button as well. I'm going to left click that. In the add group menu we can create presets for certain groups of people. This way every time we add a user account we don't have to go through manually and select specific privileges for each person. So let's say that the group name for this is going to be work. I can select shut down the device, monitor, and replay. Actually I don't want them to be able to shut down the device so I'm going to turn that off but they can watch the monitor and they can replay video. I'm going to save this preset or group and if I click on Bob and modify the user I can change his group to work and automatically his privileges have been uploaded. I can select enable and enable for that user. I'm going to save and select OK. So now that we know how to add a user and add a group, how do we remove a user or a group? We can remove a user by simply clicking on the username and selecting modify user. At the bottom of the screen, there is a delete button. I can left click this and select OK. Select OK again. And if we go back, we can see that Bob has now been deleted. If you want to remove a group, you have to first remove all of the users from that group before the actual group can be deleted. So I'm going to delete my user Bob
save and now I can remove the group because there is no other user on the group work so I'm going to select modify group in the group fly down box I'm going to select work and select delete select OK and save to exit this menu simply right click anywhere on the screen right click again and one last time to back out of the main menu.